Hey, what's up, you guys? AD owns NASCAR here, and this is going to be sort of like a multiplayer review for, uh, for Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I'm going to go through, in my opinion, the pros, cons, and neutrals of this game. Um, I'm going to start out with the cons so we can end it with the pros and end it on a high note because I really do like this game. I think it's a great game. Um, but I'll get into that in the pros in a minute. Let me just start with the cons. Um, probably my biggest problem with this game actually is just the RCXD. Um, I think it's just pretty unbalanced and overpowered, especially for just a three kill streak or two kill streak if you're using hardline. I'm using hardline here, and I can I was using spy plane, and I got like ten spy planes or something like that. So that could also mean 10 RCXDs if you're using it. So I just think it's, I think the RCXD is overpowered. I think they should do something to nerf it a little bit. And I just think it's annoying, but who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens with about that. Um, my next problem is matchmaking, and eventually I'm sure this will get better as the game progresses, but as for now, the matchmaking is still pretty bad. Um, especially when you're with a party. Um, it's really hard to find a game, and it could take up to five minutes, maybe. I mean, it's for, for me at least, it's not too hard to find a game if it's just me by myself. But if I'm with a party, it is pretty hard, and hopefully they'll get addressed. And I know Treyarch is addressing that, but still just kind of bad, but oh well. My next problem is um, second chance as the green perk um i hate i've hated every single second chance last stand perk in every call of duty game i think it's newbie and like you don't deserve a second chance really because when that player has killed you like they've killed you you shouldn't be able to like be alive for like you know in a sense be alive again um i just think it's annoying and I don't get really why they put it in the game, but you know, what are we gonna do about that? Oh well. Um, but anyway, um, I'll just move on. My next problem is probably the Strella 3 anti-air gun being unlocked at level 30. I believe that it should be unlocked a little earlier, maybe like level 20 or so, because the kill, the air support is pretty, it was, is powerful in this game and. Um, if you're not using a SAM turret, which I think is kind of a waste of a kill streak almost, um, it can be annoying sometimes, especially if it's like a chopper gun or something. You're just almost defenseless if nobody else is using it. So I think it's really nice to have. I, r I really wish the Strella was unlocked earlier so players can just have an anti air class and take that out, take the air support out if they choose to um and that's pretty much my cons like the pros list is a lot bigger um but also i'll go through the my neutrals um first is the graphics i've heard a lot of complaints about the graphics but my opinion about that is that i really don't care about graphics um if the graphics are decent then that's fine with me like I don't think it really affects your gameplay. I mean, good graphics are nice, but I don't think they're necessary. And the graphics in this game, I, I don't. Everyone complains. Not everyone. A lot of people complain about it, but I think they're fine. So, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Um, my next one is customization. Um, the reason I wouldn't consider this a pro is it's not that there's anything wrong with customization it's just that I think it's kind of it doesn't really affect the gameplay because and when I mean customization I'm really talking about like the face paint and like the custom uh, red dots and all that I think overall it really doesn't affect the gameplay that much um, and it's like more of just small details that they definitely don't take away from the game but I don't think they make they really add that much and I think customization there's nothing wrong with it it's fine it's something cool but it's not it doesn't excite me really um 
And the next and last neutral thing is combat training. And again, there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with combat training. It's great for it's great for new players. But the reason I wouldn't consider this a pro is because I think the real best way to if for new players to get used to this game and any other Call of Duty is really just to play the regular multiplayer. Because if you're playing combat training, yeah, you might be like learning the game a little bit. But I think if you're playing against real players, you see how real people react in real situations instead of bots reacting in situations. And I think it also just... I think it's just generally better to do the regular multiplayer. And I get it if you're like, you're trying to master some technique, but, or like a map or a gun or something, but besides that, I don't really think it, I've only like tried it once just for fun and it was kind of, you know, eh, but it's, there's definitely nothing wrong with it. It doesn't, again, it doesn't take away from the game. Now I'm going to move on to the longest list, which is the pros. Um, first is the biggest thing for me is gun balance. Um, I think pretty much every gun in this game is well balanced. There's definitely no, uh, as what Hutch calls God gun, which was like the UMP uh, from Modern Warfare 2 and the M16 from uh, World or not World of War, COD 4. And uh, yeah, I th I mean I I know there's some complaints about the uh, 74U and then the uh, gun I'm using here, the G11, but really I think yeah I, I don't think they're overpowered that's just my opinion um every gun pretty much be you know besides sniper like there's de I, I just don't think there's anything that's overpowered um i know this gun doesn't have a lot of recoil but i think they're they're planning on addressing it and even if it doesn't have a lot of recoil i still get a lot of hit markers with it like i know it for me like for me the three round burst guns are pretty unpredictable what's going to happen you can either just kill them in that one burst or you can shoot five bursts to kill them I, I mean it it for me my I don't know I don't know if it's just me or whatever but my results are pretty varied with the uh, three round bursts but I really don't think this gun the G11 or the AK 74U is overpowered so I think that, yeah overall the guns are good well balanced um, my next thing is challenges and contracts and I absolutely love doing challenges and in this game, it's no different. The challenges are good. They're fun. Um, especially, I like how they added the lifetime challenges so you can keep track. You know, even after you prestige, you can just keep track with stuff you've done over your career in the game, which is I think is really cool. Um, and then the other regular contracts, or the regular challenges are good. Um, and contracts, I love contracts. And I don't like, I don't care about the money part of it. Like, you don't usually win that much money. I don't, it's just for the fun of it and the challenge and just the accomplishment when you do it. it I just think I love doing challenges and this it goes right over to contracts. I think they're fun and they're a great addition. Uh, I wish there was maybe a little more variety, but I think it's fine. Um, and then some of them are like ridiculously hard, but you know they're still fun. And it if you ever got one of those really hard ones, it's like a great sense of a uh, accomplishment. Um, Next thing is perks, and besides second chance, I think all the perks are definitely well balanced and um, good. Um, I mean, there are a couple like th throw away, what I call throwaway perks, but in a way, it's almost not like that anymore. Because the p even like the, th in my opinion, the throwaway perks, which would be like hardened, like the pro perks of that, are really good too. So like, in my opinion, none of the perks are really bad. Because even if the regular perk is bad. It might have a really good pro perk, or if the pr vice versa, the pro perk's bad, then the regular perk might be definitely worth it. So I think all the perks are great. Um, I think a lot there's a lot of cool setups you can use, and yeah, I, I, I like the perks in this game. Um, getting the challenges for getting the pro perks, I like them, but there are some challenges like the uh, lightweight or marathon, whatever one, where you have to like do play capture the flag and. I don't like capture the flag, but you know, it's alright. I don't really care about that that much. I just like doing challenges, and I think the perks are great in this game. Um, now, the other kill streaks, all besides the uh, RCXD, I think are good, but this also kind of in, ties in with Estrella 3 being unlocked at level 30. If it was unlocked on a little earlier, I think it would have been. That would have been better, but the kill streaks themselves are 
fun to use. They're good. They're uh, new, which I like. Um, although, I'm having like trouble deciding what my third perk should be. I'm running. I definitely want to keep using the uh, spy plane and the care package, but I think I'm gonna switch. You start using the blackbird because it's definitely a great kill streak in. Um, I just haven't had that much success with the attack helicopter, and same with it. Even though the chopper gunner is amazing, it just I feel like sometimes it just gets shot down like instantly. So, um, but yeah, I think the kill streaks themselves are good and balanced, um, and they're fun to use, as I said. All right, let's see. My next thing I like about this game is the um, is headquarters and he, this game that you're watching right now is a game of headquarters at Nuketown which is this game I'm not posting it because I had a great KD it's just because to show you how hectic this it might be this game is pretty hectic but it was tons and tons of fun I was just having a blast while I was playing this game um, but I think the headquarters in this game, I, I never really, pre in previous COD games, I never really liked headquarters. But in this game, I think for some, there's something about it in this game that I just think is really fun. I, I don't know exactly what it is. It definitely gives you a lot more XP than it used to. Because I think also a Search and Destroy didn't give you as much XP as it did. But um, I think for some reason the headquarters is really fun in this game. And my uh, last, the last thing I want to comment on is theater mode, and um, I definitely love theater mode. It is great for, it's pretty much great for everybody. It's great for people like me who make, who's like a casual video maker type person, and just makes videos for fun and, you know, makes videos. Yeah, and it's great for like machinima people who like do it, perf uh, do it. Perf ah, I can't talk do it professionally and so that they don't have to always have their HD PVRs or whatever they use on all the time. Well, I just like hit my mic against my face. Sorry about that. But um I love theater mode. It's it took me a while to kind of master like definitely free roam took me a while to get the, you know, feel of it down, but I think theater mode was a great addition. You know, I I don't care if they're copying it from Halo. Like, and if some other game copied some feature from COD, this I wouldn't care either. So, like, a good feature is a good feature. So, this is a good feature. And I'm glad they put it in. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Just to recap everything, I, well, I'm not going to recap everything. But I think this is a great game. It has, it's not perfect. It has some flaws. But overall, it's really fun. It, I think it lived up to all the hype anyone put on it. it. Definitely lived up to my hype, and I think it is probably the best. You know, I, I would, yeah, I, I would consider this the best Call of Duty ever made. Um, and I think definitely it's just a, a overall great game. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have more content and random videos coming up soon. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching, and see you guys later.